I like the pads get a little more, it hides my uh, incredibly beautiful eyebrows a bit better. Uh, today, well, for some context, uh, Cybergun as a company really, really, really started to go down the shitter uh, past 2010, which is when our subject came out. We're going to look first at the rifle. This was a combo kit. came with paper targets, manual, and then like bonus pellets that were just dog shit. Um, but this, this is a ripoff, a somehow cheaper variant of the Well MR811. Like this one, the Stinger R34 that we all know and love. Um, I'll be comparing that. And instead of the newer Colt 1911 target, also from Vigor, they just, uh, they, they did a horrible, a horrible rehash of their original model. I'll show you that in just a little bit. We probably want to hear about the rifle first, right? So rifle does about 300 FPS. It does have a hop up, but the, the worst part about this thing is that it is a budgetized, shitty version of the well. And so like everything here is super sticky and stiff and like the magazine just barely drops out. It works the same as the well although they're not compatible. All the buttons and dials are just, they're really mushy. Carry handle can't be taken off. The, the, the foregrip just feels like it's going to blow off at any time. The laser's good. The laser is good, but the one that came with it isn't working. The sling, it's got one of those, this is one of those, like, used thong slings. Um, it's built like the well, but it's just even shittier somehow. Um, I'm not sure how they managed to do that. And then it has the infamous, the perfection have no the gun that lack markings. And a, a giant made in China uh, text on the right here um, for such a patriotic product. Um, that's a bit disappointing. Everything on here is just super wobbly and crap. You can take the stock off if you want to. And then, oh god, listen to this cocking handle. It's super stiff, and the triggers, the triggers kind of rough too. Dual apertures, which can't be adjusted at all, like the well. That's that's normal. But otherwise, it's just a, a super shittier version of the well. That's really all it is. Um, they took shitty plastic to a whole new level with this guy. Now let me show you the most offensive part of this kit, which is. The Colt 1911 target that was included, this is built like the 2008 model I just reviewed, but clear magazine, smoky clear, and then if you take the slide off, and this whole thing, by the way, has been spray painted black. This is not black plastic, this has been spray painted black. The entire thing is just super rough. They got it in the inner barrel too, so this thing only shoots like 90, 80 FPS. Um, Super inaccurate. The pellets have just this fuck off wide cone of spread. Um, it's unusable. Um, did this one come with a. I think it did come. No. Uh, the laser was made for the rifle, so this would have had no attachments on it. Um, but let me show you what I'm talking about inside by just getting the slide off. Check it out. They literally just spray painted everything but the guide rails. They just spray painted it. I mean, the, the texture on it is just so shitty. This is not black plastic. And even on the inside, like, you can still see that it had a clear finish at one point that they just barely managed to spray paint over. And then here, too, it's especially visible right here where the fake spring got holy hell i think at any point in time before 2010 cybergun would have just said no this is not okay um you send us some real shit here or we're not buying it but you know post 2010 cybergun was in a uh, a really rough place and both of these show both of these show